Hello everyone, how y'all doing? I remember you guys were getting getting on me about getting some webcams. And I did. Got me a couple of them. I'm, 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 I'm using one right now. I'm using the one over there. The one I'm, to record this video. But I got another one. So, you guys were getting on me about getting some webcams. And yeah, uh, I did it. But also, I won't, I won't stop here though. I'm gonna get me some better ones. You know, I seen, I seen some webcams, with like 48 megapixels, 36. So, the better the webcam, the better the picture quality. But like you guys were telling me to get some webcams, and I did. Um, I was trying to stream this morning, test it to see if I could stream. But I was, but since I'm using Ubuntu, I'm running into a problem with with streaming. You know. Uh, when I go, when I click say I go go live stream, they ask me a question. Do I want to uh, let uh, 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 the the stream the uh, Ubuntu uh, not Ubuntu but YouTube use my uh, camera? And I say yes, but then when I click on that, then I'm running into a problem. So now they're trying to tell me to download this o OBS OBS software. I mean, I mean video recorder software, and that and and that and that is a problem because. YouTube should have had that software, have that software installed on their Windows Server, Linux Server, Apple Server. So as soon as someone decide to make YouTube videos and YouTube videos, they won't have a, they won't have to go through the headaches of like downloading the software and going through it all, going through all this, going through all these uh, these these issues you, you got to deal with before you can finally use it. So. You, YouTube really needs to fix this. They really need to have their, that OBS software already installed. I mean, the uh, the streaming streaming video recorder uh, software installed on the Linux servers, the Mac servers, and the Windows servers. So when you when when you the when you the uh, the visitor or the consumer decide to make a video for YouTube, all you got to do is just install, put your webcam in. And then click go live, and then you should be live right then and there, because you already have an account with YouTube through Google. You already have an account through, with YouTube. I mean, I mean, I mean through Google. So, as soon as you install this webcam, you should be able to go live right then and there, versus going through all this, to all these problems. Talking about, you know, we have a problem and all this. It's ridiculous because they should have had this software, this OBS software install on their Windows servers, Linux servers, and Mac servers and, and be done with it. But they want you, since you're the one that's making the video, they want you to go through all these hoops just to use one streaming software to get a video going. And I've seen all kind of videos, uh, I've seen all kind of videos showing people how to install this OBS and none of them, none of those videos make sense. None of them do, so YouTube needs to really fix this. So what I'm what I'm gonna do as a substitute is this. I'm gonna record myself playing a game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna record myself playing a game, and what I'm gonna do is is uh, upload it to my to, to my YouTube page versus sitting there going through all these headaches just to get once just to get just to use one streaming streaming video software to go live. So that's that's the that's the way I'm gonna approach it. So YouTube really needs to fix this. Because when you go to the OBS website, it says Linux, Windows, and Apple. And then when you start downloading, you start downloading it. You start running into all kind of problems. They should have been had this. Uh, they should have been had this OBS software installed on their Windows servers, Linux servers, and Mac servers. It's the same thing with uh, with with um, with with Twitch. It's the same thing with Twitch. Like when if you try to like set up a Twitch account. They should have been had this thing installed on the Linux servers, Windows servers, and Mac servers, right out the gate. So as soon as you, so as soon as you like take a camera, take say like take this camera for instance, and push it in the USB port, the computer should recognize it, since it's USB, universal serial bus, universal three point, um, USB three point oh. So as soon as you plug this uh this uh camera in. The computer recognizes recognize it, and then you you should be you should be ready to go, uh, going live versus going through all as soon as you put versus like 
putting the camera in and then it's going to tell you it didn't recognize the camera like what We're like wait a minute this is this a usb the, this is usb Univer usb stands for universal uh serial bus and it, and it works in a usb port can handle uh 127 devices so as soon as you plug this in you should be able to go live so uh youtube and our uh, twitch they really need to get this situation fixed you know because it's, it's it's utter nonsense you know because before i could before i was using a um before i was using this uh this playstation camera this i cam to do my video and then people were getting on me about it, get, getting on me about it so what i did was put some money together and got some uh, 4k webcam and then when i go live with these cams and plus i got a usb extension cord and when i decide to go go live with these cams i'm running into a problem you're telling me that you don't recognize this camera that i just bought so uh so youtube and twitch really need to fix this and i've seen all kind of all kind of video that all kind of videos that mislead you which they do all kind of videos that mislead you on how to set up a, um on how to use the obs software i just said it, enough of this you know so what i'm gonna do is this um I'm gonna record myself playing, playing, my, playing a game as a substitute until they fix this. I'm gonna record myself playing a game as a substitute, and then I'm just gonna upload it to my, um, upload it to the, uh, to, to my page, because no person should be able to go, no person should go through this, this problem of like trying to go live. You should have the software already installed on the, um, on the servers. You should have it installed on a Mac server, Linux server, Windows server. And then when a person buys a webcam and then they stick it right in the USB port, they should be go they should go live right then and there. Versus going through all these hoops just to use one software, which is pathetic. So what I'm gonna do is just re record myself uh, going live. Uh, I mean, what I'm gonna do is record myself playing, not going live, <laughs> playing, and then I'm gonna upload the video to the um to, to my uh, to my YouTube page. You uh, YouTube and Twitch really need to fix this. If you try to uh. If you try to use Twitch, if you try to use Twitch, it's the same problem you run into. You run into. If you try to use YouTube and go live, because before I was just using this, and even when I use this now, I'm running into I'm running into a problem. You know, I'm running into a problem. So YouTube need to really fix their uh their uh, that OBS software and they need to put them on the servers with all the updates already in place. So once you um once you put this camera in, once you put this camera in, you should be ready to go live right then and there. And that's a, and that's the problem that YouTube and Twitch has right now. That OB, because there's so many tutorial videos on how to install this thing, and then you're sitting there like, and these people drag you down the road. They drag you down the road before they finally get to the point. They hold, they hold you hostage for like about, for how long? And then they and then like within the last minute and a half, you're finally getting to getting to install the video. It's like, so uh, YouTube and Twitch really need to fix it, and that's a problem. So what I'm gonna do is upload the uh, click, record myself playing a game, and then then what I'm gonna do is upload it to my to to, to my to, to my YouTube page. But that OBS software, they should have they should have already had that thing installed from the jump. Every server that YouTube use, whether it's the cloud or whether it's just the physical servers, all those uh, servers should have had the OBS software installed already. And all you have to do is push the camera in the USB port and you're ready to go. Okay. Versus they having you go through and all these hoops just to get one software to work. You know, so, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm going to report myself. Uh, uh, playing play, play, uh, play, play a game and then I'm going to upload it. Record it, then upload it. But other than that, man, um, I can't go live until uh, until YouTube fix this issue. Okay? I can't go, I can't, I can't do a live stream until YouTube really, really, really uh, fix this, uh, fix, fix this issue. Like I said, if you go on YouTube right now and you type how to install, uh, o uh, how to use OBS software, you got thousands of pages showing you how to do it, showing you, and you got, it's like you, you click on one person, they don't, you click on one person, they don't get, they don't tell you the straight facts. You click on another person, it's the same thing, you got to go through all these videos 
before you finally before before, before before you finally get the help you're looking for when YouTube them YouTube themselves since they run run this this huge uh, huge network they should have had the software already installed on the servers and all a person got to do is plug the camera in and just go versus going through all these hoops so I can't I can't I can't live stream like I want to until YouTube fix this fix this situation it's on them it's not on us okay they should have had this install years ago and, and they should have keep um they should have keep updating it you know because every time because I tried about five times today I tried about five times today try to go live and I'm still all I saw was the little clock going around in circles and and it says oh something is wrong and I'm like huh so I just, I just left it alone. So anyway, um, I won't be able to go live until YouTube fix this thing. So that's it in a nutshell. But other than that, I'm going to record myself playing and then I'm going to put the video up, upload the video as soon as I finish playing, upload it and name and name the title of the game I was playing. And that's the way I'm going to do it until they, until YouTube themselves take their Windows servers, Apple servers and Mac servers and all those cloud servers and install the right OBS software on the servers so when so when people come in all they got to do is go into their accounts take the camera install it in a USB port and go live right then and there okay versus going through all versus going through all these hoops just to get one thing just to get one thing to work anyway nice talking to you nice talking to you people Chris still a Star Wars and Star Trek thing bored dark side Go. Peace.